Now with these dry conditions that we're experiencing, something as careless as a cigarette flick from a car window could lead to a dangerous fire. That is what happened off of Highway 280 westbound in Sylacauga on Thursday. We enlisted the Alabaster Fire Department to get an experiment. CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner joins us live to explain. Lee? Jim and Sherry, we've been reporting on fires and burn bans for weeks now, but we haven't really been able to show you exactly what's happening in some of these fires and how they could all be started thanks to something that seems innocent, something that you may be doing every single day. Under normal conditions, the Alabama Forestry Commission sees very few cigarette fires in the state of Alabama. But these are not normal conditions, and cigarettes aren't the only non traditional culprits. We're starting to see equipment fires where a, a farmer will uh, hit a rock with a bush hog blade and cause a fire in a field, uh, catalytic converters on the side of the road, a chain on a truck dragging along the pavement. So we teamed up with Alabaster Fire and Rescue to test how quickly those less typical fire starters can get out of hand. Somebody sees it, somebody calls 911, the fire department's notified, the fire department gets there. You know, there's been three to five to seven minutes, and so you see that was, what, 30 seconds? Even fire-safe cigarettes that go out if they aren't being puffed can still ignite a brush fire. For instance, firefighters used a leaf blower on idle speed to simulate the wind generated by cars zooming past a fire. So if this is on the, the median or the side of the interstate, obviously it would be much more wind than that. Chief Golden says it's indicative of what's happening on the freeway, in pastures, or in people's own backyards. The key takeaway and the key point that we want to emphasize is because of the dry conditions, the fires are starting much more rapidly, much easier than what they have in the past. And when they do start, they're spreading very rapidly. And so I know we sound like a broken record, but once again, fire officials are asking, don't burn anything. Don't discard anything like a cigarette from your vehicle. And also, if you see anything, call 911. Reporting on deck, Lee Garner, CBS 42 News.